top, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top. When they say I'm not hot, all these lies need Hi, to stop. Babies. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. As you guys are by the title, in today's video, I'm going to be filming part two to my in-depth hygiene collection. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the hair products that I use on my heat damaged curly hair and also the skincare products that I use on my oily sensitive skin. So if you're interested, then obviously continue watching this video. But before we jump into the video, if you haven't seen part one to this video, I will have it linked down below. I showed you guys all of my body care products from my perfumes to my body wash, my bar soaps, etc. Make sure you guys go watch the video if you haven't already. And also go follow me on my other social media apps. If you want, you don't have to. It will be somewhere on the screen, most likely over here. So yeah, with all of that being said, let's get started with part two of my in-depth hygiene collection video so as i showed you guys this is where i keep all of my hygiene products but at the very top shelf is where i keep my hair products the first thing i see is my eco style argan oil gel so this gel i do use it when i style my hair but i don't use a lot of it because it can make my hair really crunchy i mostly use this gel when i need to slick my hair I, I use a lot of gel like i use gel every day i do like this hair gel the only thing i don't like about it is that the argan oil one specifically i can't use a lot of it because if i put too much it does flake i prefer the eco style sport one which is the blue one i'll put a picture of it on the screen so you know which one i'm talking about and that one does not give me any problems but the argan oil do and this was like four dollars at walmart and then i have the aus three minute miracle moist deep conditioner this is honestly my favorite deep conditioner and it has been my favorite deep conditioner since seventh grade this stuff makes my hair so soft and it smells really good all of aussie products smell really good and they're also really affordable like i think this was like two dollars and 67 cents at my local walmart when my hair was really dead in seventh grade this was the only deep conditioner that really helped to moisturize my hair make my hair shine soft and smell good and it slowly brought my curls back if you're gonna use aussie products you have to be patient you can't expect them to like give you the craziest results on the first couple of tries you have to use them like a good amount of times before you start seeing results then over here i have my aussie miracle moist shampoo now this shampoo i like it because it does clean my hair i mean overall i don't have much to say it smells good and it does clean my hair very well because my head does feel very refreshed after i rinse this off and then right behind it i have my aussie moist conditioner this is the old packaging so i got this from big lots for like two dollars and something cents this is my favorite conditioner it can use a lot of it and it does not weigh my hair down it makes my hair super soft it smells really good and it just moisturizes my hair very well my curls always look so good after i use this and this is like a really good conditioner to use as a detangling conditioner it's really good as a leave-in conditioner and it just works in many different ways and then right over here i have this garnier fructis curl scrunch controlling gel now this gel i only use it to revive my curls i can't use a lot of it because it does make my hair really crunchy and i just don't like that look i'm pretty sure that it wasn't more than four dollars it claims to have an extra strong hold then right behind it i have this salon selectives damage repair hair treatment and this is basically a deep conditioner i got this from dollar tree and i actually do like this deep conditioner the only thing i don't like about it is how light and liquidy the product is like, but it does make my hair super soft and it does make it easier for me to detangle my hair when i'm in the shower my hair feel healthy and soft i think for a doll it does work and then right behind it i just have this little water spray that i obviously need to fill back up i got this bottle from dollar general and i have the main choice crystal orchid biotin infused styling gel this is a gel that i've been using to style my hair i'm wearing my curls and i really like this gel it smells really good and it also has a really interesting consistency it feels like i'm putting slime on my hair but it does define my curls really well and it styles my curls and it doesn't give me that crunchy look which i appreciate because i do not like that crunchy curl look for six dollars at my local family dollars it also smells good then right behind it i have this greek yogurt repairing conditioner by hask so i got this from big lot and i love this conditioner i wish they had the matching shampoo because this conditioner is such a good leave-in conditioner it smells really good it smells like pineapples to me sorry 
boy it has grapes on the packaging but it doesn't smell like grapes to me it makes my hair super soft my slick low buns have never been as slicked oh, since i started using this conditioner as a leave-in conditioner got it for two dollars from big lot oh, my arm hurts and i'm also out of breath Moving over here, I have this Cantu Natural Hair Wave Whip Curling Mousse. As you can see, I don't have a lot left. This claims to define waves and curls without the crunch, and it does exactly that. It's a very lightweight mousse, so I have to use a lot of it. It claims to give you a frizz-free finish, but that's not really the case. I've used this on its own, and my hair does get frizzy. I personally cannot use it on its own, but mixed with any other hair product, it works just fine. And then I have this Aussie Miracle Curls mousse. This mousse makes my hair super crunchy, so I actually use this sometimes to just slick my hair when I don't feel like doing all that and using my gel it does define my curls but it gives me that crunchy curl look that i don't like so i don't use it to actually style on my curls then i have this head and shoulder clean classic daily shampoo i actually have this because a year ago during the summer i was trying to lighten my hair without having to bleach it and i saw a video that if you use this with crushed vitamin c pills it helped lighten your black hair to like a brown color so that's why i got this but i personally don't really like this because i know that a lot of people talk about head and shoulders being a really good shampoo to use to get rid of dandruffs but this actually does the opposite for me it dries my hair out it gives me dandruffs then right behind it i have this aunt jackie's in control moisturizing and softening conditioner so some Sometimes I use this as my detangling conditioner. It smells really good. This was like five or six dollars at my local family dollars. I think overall it is a good conditioner. I definitely use way more moisturizing conditioners than this. So I just use this when I want my hair to smell extra good. Then I have my Cantu natural hair moisturizing curl activator cream i actually haven't used it in a while i haven't really been using curl creams i like this it does define my curls and it does style my hair but i can't use it on my roots because it weighs my hair down this is like five dollars at family dollars then i have this little shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk i really like this it does define my curls really well and it just styles my hair really good Shea Moisture is a really good line. It's just it's a bit pricey. But if you can't afford to pay $13 for the full size, we get the can too because they both work good. Then I have this really beat up traveling size Tresemme Moisture Conditioner. Um, it's all right. I don't really like using Tresemme because you'll work the first couple times I use it. And then eventually it just dries my hair out. So then right behind it, I have this Aussie Headstrong Volume Hairspray. I don't really use this to add volume to my hair. I use it to set my hair. The only hairsprays that I use are from the brand Aussie. Then behind it, I have another Aussie Hairspray. And this one's the Instant Freeze Hairspray. And they all work the same to me. Then right behind it, I have this L'Oreal Colorista fader shampoo i got this from dollar tree last year during the summer when i was trying to get rid of my black hair this just claims to fade any color you have in your hair um it works when it comes to washing my hair so i just have it there so if one day i do dye my hair a different color and then i want to get rid of it i can use it i don't know if it helped lighten my hair because i had black hair dye but it did work when it came to cleaning my hair if that made any sense then i have this garnier fructis slick and shine anti-frizz serum so i use this whenever i do my curly hair routine or when i'm getting my hair straightened because this really gives my hair that healthy shiny look and that's pretty much why i use it i don't really feel like it helps to keep my hair from getting frizzy and then then the last hair product are the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Moroccan Oil Treatment. So I use this when I'm getting my hair straightened. Those are all of my hair products. I honestly don't have a lot of hair products just because when I find a brand and certain products in that brand that work for me, I kind of stick to those products. Moving on down here to where I keep all of my face products. You can see I also don't have that many. Be Starting off with this right here that it's not a skincare product is my Dove Cucumber Advanced Care Deodorant. I just have it there because it doesn't fit where I keep my deodorant. Then I have this eardrops because almost a month ago I had water stuck in my ear. Then I have this Thayer Witch Hazel Facial Toner. This is the cucumber one. It was really refreshing on my face but I haven't used it in a while because 
I watched a video we're talking about this witch hazel toner it said that this toner is actually too harsh for our face it has ingredients in them that are just too hard I don't know if that's true or not so I just don't risk using it then I have this cleanser and scrub remover sponge that I got from Dollar Tree and then right behind it I have my dirty microfiber pad that I keep saying I'm gonna clean and I never clean it I'm I'm probably gonna end up throwing it away honestly then I have this CeraVe SA cream for rough and bumpy skin this used to be the moisturizer that I used every morning and night for about nine months but then I stopped using it because I, my skin isn't as bumpy as it was when I got this and I think it works It's very thick and it moisturizes my face very well Like ever since I started using CeraVe products, I don't think I will ever use a different brand CeraVe is more on the pricey drugstore side, but it works really well It has salicylic acid in it. It has some other acid in there and, But I do think that it's a really good moisturizer if you have bumpy skin just make sure that whatever you use to clean your face isn't super strong and this was 13 dollars at my local walmart then i have this microfiber pad that i got from dollar tree i use these to take off my makeup when i don't have makeup wipes then i have some cotton rounds which is what i use to apply my toners in the morning and at night then i have my baby johnson baby oil gel this is the aloe vera one it doesn't fit where i actually keep my body oils so i just have it there it's like four dollars at family dollars and i really like how it smells because it has like that soft clean smell then i have two face masks i have this charcoal refreshing sheet mask from victoria secret this was a gift i don't really use sheet mask that often and then i have this rose hydrogel mask also from pink which i got as a gift then i have this little pharmacy makeup melt away cleansing balm i use it to take off my eye makeup and it literally does exactly what it claims to do it melts away my eye makeup and it has like a minty refreshing scent to it but it feels really refreshing when i put it on my eyes i don't know i haven't used this in a while and this was a gift i don't know where it's from or how much it was then i have my dickinson pore perfecting toner as you can see i don't have that much left the toner that i've been using for a few months now and it works just fine it does the same thing it refreshes my skin and it also really digs deep in there in those pores that my cleanser and my makeup remover didn't clean this is for six dollars from my local walgreens sorry if i'm talking really fast um i'm out of breath and i'm also hungry then i have my simple micellar cleansing water which is what i use to take off my makeup um i like it this is very refreshing and it definitely does take my makeup off really well and this was five dollars at my local walmart then i have my cerave moisturizing cream and i love this moisturizing cream it's exactly what it claims to do it moisturizes my face really well and it's for dry skin and i have oily skin and it still works amazing it does make my face feel moisturized without my face feeling like greasy I don't, but you can use this on your body as well i honestly love cerave when it comes to my face i think cerave works so well with my skin then i have micellar cleansing water from dollar tree this one's for dry and sensitive skin i don't have dry skin but i do have sensitive skin and this actually works it takes off my makeup really well i just can't use it around my eye area because even though it claims to be for sensitive skin and it still burns a little bit around my eyes and then i have the saint ives acne control daily tea tree cleanser i got this from family dollars for like three or four dollars i think this smells just like tea tree obviously so i haven't used it i'm kind of scared to use it because i can't use anything on my face it has a really strong fragrance because it will break me out so that's why i haven't used it but i'm kind of like regretting that i bought this but at the same time not because i want to see if it works then i have this olay cleanse witch hazel toner i got this at the beginning of senior year and i used it once on my face even though i knew that i shouldn't have because this has a really strong fragrance it smells really good though like it has a very clean smell but it's just a no-go for me but i still went against my gut feeling and i used it on my face and it burned so i don't really know how it works and then i have this freeman rejuvenating cucumber plus pink salt clay mask that i got from five and below for five dollars i use this like once a month because it makes my face itch but i know it's because of the pink salt i think it works you know i think it's really cool i feel very bougie when i put it on because my face does feel really clean when i use this using it once a month is not enough for me to know if this product actually works or not and the last product i have is the say yes to tomatoes clear skin acne fighting scrub and cleanser 
I got this for six dollars from my local Walmart and I think it's a really good cleanser but it has salicylic acid in it but I was mixing this with other strong products I was using on my face and it just like led me to have an allergic reaction or at least I think this product also added onto the allergic reaction because it has strong ingredients as well as the other products that I was using to clean my face so I haven't used it in a couple months. I'm not really good when it comes to describing skincare products. Those are all the skincare products I had over here. The cleanser that I use at night is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. This is really good, but it's a very like liquidy and light cleanser. So I actually use it a couple times, do two pumps. I use the Say Yes to Carrots. The box is really messy, I know, but I use the Say Yes to Carrots Black Charcoal Soap to clean my face in the mornings. And it it does not dry my face out it cleans my face very well and i actually did use this on my back a couple times and it helped with my back acne you can use this soap all around your body so that is going to be the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed part two to my in-depth hygiene collection if you did give this video a thumbs up subscribe and comment if you want to you don't have to and i shall see you guys in my next video bye dudes